Stop, you know what I mean? Like, I sleep in the studio, in the spot, you know what I mean? Like, it's 24 hours, seven days a week. You know, Waffle House don't really close. Like, you can come to the spot, you know what I mean? Get whatever you want. I tell the folks because I know how long you've been grinding, but see, they don't know how long you've been grinding. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is this this didn't just happen overnight. Yeah, see, this is a lot of hard How many years we talking about? I mean, a long time since I was in like middle school. If you had something for the youth, you know what I mean? If some youth are coming up and they want to start rapping, what would be like something that you would say to them to encourage them to keep going? Like if they mama like, oh man, this ain't this ain't the business for you. What would be something that I you mean, would say? like just keep God first. You know what I mean? Like, and whatever you want to do in your heart, like He's gonna guide you. you know? Hey, what's going on, man? It's the kid born to win, man. Hey, look, shout out to Rap Star Weekend for come kick me with the kid, man. Double salute. Shout out to Dread Boy Films, man, you know what I mean? Double salute to the home. Can't forget, shout out to Crawlers.com, man, you know what I mean? Double salute to her too, man. You know what I mean? For making it happen. If you see me at the top, you been not air for a ladder, cause we finna take off on the plane, no reject. You know it's money, power, respect. Where can we find you at? It's the address. We'll keep finding you. 2690 Godfrey Road. And the discount flyer. Come holla at you, boy. I got you. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, how you doing? Here is the Pro Vision Master. Rockstar Weekend, Crawlers, we doing our thing, man. I mean, I see, yo, this is your beat that you created. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's something I made um, pretty much about a month ago. Just pretty much on there. Wanting to make something, you know what I'm saying, like a club, baby. Okay. So, uh, you know, I just do this together. Okay, well, listen, man, I mean, I, I know you busy, but I want to, can we get a tour? Oh, sure. So, what's, what's the name of the studio? I know you, Provision, so what's the name of the studio? The name of the studio is GIA Studios. Provision is pretty much professional provision. Um, okay. Just pretty much getting uh, the best look, uh, for, you know, the professional kind of way. Of course, of and, course. Uh, GIA Studios is pretty much, you know, the studio where we uh, get to incorporate all our creativity. Uh, my partner, his name is Seth Tate. Uh, okay. We are promotions. Uh, he has the nightlife photography. Okay. So I work closely with him and the owner of the studio, uh, okay. Victor Jenkins. So if someone wanted to get a music video done, mm -hmm. they can literally turn up, do whatever they want to do here. Right. Y'all heard of him. Yes, you did. Rap Star Weekend, Dread Boy Films, all over in your face. It's not a game. Peep his work. I'm serious. I've seen it. Ham said it. You already know. Peace. The first video I ever, music video I ever worked on after college was Janet Jackson of Buster Rhymes. Wow. Now, 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. There were rumors yeah. that it seemed like they were together, but they were filmed in two separate studios. Is that correct? No. You heard it from the mouth. Nah, was you heard it. You heard it right from the mouth. Broken stages. Broken stages. Broken. Broken. Okay. Broken. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, now it may seem that way because Janet was like eight hours late. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was a long day. It was a long shoot day. So. Um, but not. Nah, but I mean, she Janet. So. I mean, Janet. So you can't really like. <laughs> right. You know, she come twelve hours and everybody's still standing there waiting. Like, oh my God, Janet. Right. You know? Right. So that was cool. So that was like my first music video. And then ever since then, it's just been, you know, music video, music video, music video. How did that whole Jermaine Dupree thing come about? Um, well, Jermaine Dupree and the um, and the the uh, the producer have been cool for like ages you know like they pretty much uh came up you know together 
Fat Cats, who, who okay. you know, and one of the guys, Randy, he's, uh, he's a producer on that, and uh, he works with this other gentleman called GT Visuals, who he you know, produces a lot of his videos for him. Um, so Jermaine approached Randy, uh, the producer, and was like, listen, this is, you know, we got this artist, Rizzy, um, I mean Rizzy, and, um, you know, for this song called Goddamn, and, you know, we want to put some together. Okay, okay, so let me, so, so, you know, I know that you, you know, you fly all across the nation. <laughs> Do you fly all across the world? And if so, where have, where have you been? Um, Anything memorable? Yeah, I just, I, I spent like three months in Tokyo recently doing a feature. Um, I was actually... Can you let us know who that feature is? Um, it's called, as of now, the title's called Playing for, Playing for Money. And basically, it's a crossover film, um, a basketball, actually, a basketball crossover film. Um, uh, uh, there's this uh, ex-basketball player. Um, he actually, he's the, the producer, is an ex-basketball player um, from the States. And he actually played in Japan, or Tokyo. He played on the team there. I've been offered to co-produce a, a, a feature, an uh, indie feature, um, that's going to be happening soon in, in Atlanta. Hopefully, uh, it's with Jamie Foxx. So Jamie Foxx, you watch it. It's just sign on so we can make this happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you heard it first here <laughs> on Fat Boy Film. That's yeah. our weekend. Yeah. Sign off, Jamie. Right. Yeah. How did you gain the respect or the credibility to get to your next level? Well, you know, as a peer, you're able to, you know, you, you get to find out where you want to be in production. And what I notice is that I, I like to deal with the talent. Um, so it went from my 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 steps were I went from PA to second AD. Second AD is the individual, the crew member that actually deals with the talent, basically the liaison between the talent and the first AD and the director. So you know if they call for the talent, they have to call on me to make sure the talent goes through the works, is, you know make sure they you know everything's set for them and you know invite them to set or take them to set. Um, so I was control. I was basically in charge of it, and I did that for a couple of years. Um, and then, after second AD, you have an option of, you know, going into the production office, you know, being a production manager, coordinator, or stepping stepping up to be a first AD. Okay. So what I said was, you know, what I didn't. I liked being a second AD because I didn't have to worry about. Um, I didn't have to be in control of anything except the talent. When you're first AD, you're in control of Everybody, everything. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I don't want that responsibility. Hell no, I don't know. <laughs> never. That's not me. Um, so what ended up happening is, is that um, I got a phone call from uh, a production company, actually from, from a director um, who's we're, we're like good friends now. He's pretty big in the industry too. Um, he's like, yeah, you got referred uh, through this production company that you would be a, a good first AD for this movie that I want to do. And I'm just like, so I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't say no. Of course not, that's not the deal. Yeah, especially when I got referred. I'm like, and, but in my head, I'm like, yo, I ain't never first AD before. I'm never, And then ever. this is a youth movie production. This is a this movie, is different. yeah. So I was like, I don't know nothing. <laughs> but luckily it was the director's first movie. It was actually everybody's first movie. <laughs> so the like, first. Yeah, so, so I pretty much was able to I guess finagle my way, you know, play it off, um, because we were all learning. As a first AD, I get on set, or even pre-production, I deal with that, but then get on set, do what I have to do, you know, get the shots off, get the day going, and then once I call rap, I'm done. Big shout out to Crawlers, y'all. She knows, like, she really knows. She knows it, like, seriously. If you don't believe me, watch it. I guarantee you. You are now watching Rap Star Weekend. Upload your videos, see what's next, see what's current, see what's now, all that, see what's fresh. If you don't, you're whack. Rap Star Weekend. Check it out.